Hi, this is Dave uh, out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I'm a chemistry professor with the University in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I work with batteries. Some of the work I do, I don't mind uploading to YouTube for others that want to work at home or in schools. Uh, I'm particularly interested in electrolytes, particularly deep uh, eutectics, ionic liquids, self-discharge rate of batteries in uh, these electrolytes. Uh, and power output, of course. Okay, what do we have here? Piece of copper tubing. Went down to the hardware store. Got the copper tubing. Hacksaw. Cut a section off. And inside of the tubing, I have a magnesium rod. Now, you can pick these rods up at eBay. They're pretty cheap. It's about uh, four inches long, maybe a quarter inch, uh, no, a half inch diameter perhaps, magnesium. You could try the magnesium alloy uh, fire starters. I haven't tried that. This is pure magnesium, 99.9%. Uh, I have it wrapped in paper toweling, and then around that, I put some of this polyurethane set uh, placing that you can get at a dollar store. It's pretty cheap. And I wrap that in turn around the paper towel. Okay, so we have copper and we have magnesium. What's the electrolyte? Quite arbitrarily, I'm using an aqueous solution of Epsom salt. Non-scientific, but about three tablespoons. And I dropped it into uh, about uh, 100 milliliters of water and soaked the uh, cell, the battery here. Okay, let me set this down and we'll see what kind of voltage, open voltage we get and uh, short circuit. Okay, your cathode of course is the magnesium, source of the electrons, and the copper is the anode. And uh, as I move around, I'm able to hit as much as 1.58 volts. And uh, I'll lay it on its side. 1.54. The surface of this copper pipe, I should probably give that a light treatment in acid. 1.54. Let's move this so you can see it. A lot of us are uh, producing these videos. Uh, I even have a little cam uh, holder, tripod, but uh, okay, let's try it again. One point five four. I've had it out of the electrolyte solution uh, for about twenty minutes. One point five five. Okay, that's open voltage. Let me short it out. So I'll go to the 200 uh, milliamp scale. We'll short it out. Yeah, that's what I was seeing before. I was seeing about 20 milliamps, 25 even, 25 milliamps. And what's convenient about this is uh, it enables me to uh, transport it. 22 milliamps. Okay, let's go back to the uh, voltage, see if it tries to rebound. I got it back to the 20, uh, 20 volt scale. Yeah, it's jumping back up. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is 1.49. What I'm going to do is investigate different electrolytes. I'm thinking of trying uh, buffered acetic acid, sodium acetate, aqueous sodium or potassium carbonate, and uh, as well as Epsom salt. See how this performs. This is one you could do at home. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.